forever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee. O heavenly King, comforter of the spirit of truth, who art everywhere present and fillest all things, <clears throat> treasure of good gifts and giver of life, come and abide in us and cleanse us of all stain, and save our souls, O good one. Many years, Master. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our iniquities. Holy God, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. O Lord, save thy people and bless thine inheritance, granting to thy people victory over all adversaries, and by thy cross preserving thine estate. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Do thou who of thine own good will was lifted up upon the cross, O Christ our God, bestow thy bounties upon the new nation which is called by thy name. May glad in thy might those who lawfully govern, that with them we may be led to victory over our adversaries. Having in thine aid a weapon of peace and a trophy invincible, both now and ever and unto ages of ages, amen. O champion dread, who could not be put to confusion, despise not our petitions, O good in all praise, Theotokos. Establish the way of the Orthodox, save those who have been called upon to govern us, leading us all to that victory which is from heaven. For thou art she who gavest birth to God, and alone art blessed. Have mercy on us, O God, according to thy great mercy. We pray thee, hearken. And have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for all pious and orthodox Christians. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Again, we pray for our Metropolitan Joseph and our Bishop Basil. Many years, Master. And all our Brotherhood in Christ. Ya Rabbi Rham, Ya Rabbi Rham, Ya Rabbi Rham. Thou art a merciful God and lovest mankind, and unto thee do we ascribe glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Bless Master in the name of the Lord. Glory to the holy, consubstantial, life-giving, and undivided Trinity. Always, now, and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to God in the highest sun on earth. Peace, goodwill toward men. Al-Majdu lillahi fil ula wa ala al-ard salam wa fil nasi al-masarra. Glory to God in the highest sun on earth. Peace, goodwill toward men. O Lord, open the, thou my lips, and my mouth shall show forth thy praise. O Lord, open thou my lips, and my mouth shall show forth thy praise. Lord, how are they increased that trouble me? Many are they that rise up against me. Many there be which say of my soul, there is no help for him in God. But thou, O Lord, art a shield for me, my glory, and the lifter up of mine head. I cried unto the Lord with my voice, and he heard me out of his holy hill. I laid me down and slept. I awaked, for the Lord sustained me. I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people that have set themselves against me round about. Arise, O Lord, save me, O my God, for thou hast smitten all mine enemies upon the cheekbone. Thou hast broken the teeth of the ungodly. Salvation belongeth unto the Lord. Thy blessing is upon thy people. I laid me down and slept. I awaked, for the Lord sustained me. O Lord, rebuke me not in thy wrath, neither chasten me in thy hot displeasure, for thine arrow stick fast in me, and thy hand presseth me sore. There is no soundness in my flesh because of thine anger, neither is there any rest in my bones because of my sin. 
for mine iniquities are gone over my head as a heavy burden, they are too heavy for me. My wounds stink and are corrupt because of my foolishness. I am troubled, I am bowed down greatly, I go mourning all the day long. For my loins are filled with a loathsome disease and there is no soundness in my flesh. I am feeble and sore broken, I have roared by reason of the disquietness of my heart. Lord, all my desire is before thee, my groaning is not hid from thee, my heart panteth, my strength faileth me. As for the light of mine eyes, it is also gone from me. My lovers and my friends stand aloof from my sore, and my kinsmen stand afar off. They also that seek after my life lay snares for me, and they that seek my hurt speak mischievous things, and imagine deceits all the day long. But I, as a deaf man, heard not, and I was as a dumb man that openeth not his mouth. Thus I was as a man that heareth not, and in whose mouth are no reproofs. For in thee, O Lord, do I hope thou wilt hear, O Lord my God. For I said, Hear me, lest otherwise they should rejoice over me. When my foot slippeth, they magnify themselves against me, for I am ready to halt, and my sorrow is continually before me. For I will declare mine iniquity, I will be sorry for my sin. But mine enemies are lively, and they are strong, and they that hate me wrongfully are multiplied. They also that render evil for good are mine adversaries, because I follow the thing that good is. Forsake me not, O Lord of my God, be not far from me. Make haste to help me, Lord, my salvation. Forsake me not, O Lord of my God, be not far from me. Make haste to help me, Lord, my salvation. O God, Thou art my God, early will I seek Thee, my soul thirsteth for Thee, my flesh longeth for Thee in a dry and thirsty land where no water is, to see Thy power and Thy glory, so as I have seen Thee in the sanctuary. <clears throat> because Thy loving kindness is better than life, my lips shall praise Thee, thus will I bless Thee while I live. I will lift up my hands in Thy name, my soul shall be satisfied as with marrow and fatness, and my mouth shall praise Thee with joyful lips when I remember Thee upon my bed and meditate on Thee in the night watches. Because thou hast been my help, therefore in the shadow of thy wings will I rejoice. My soul followeth hard after thee. Thy right hand upholdeth me. But those that seek after my soul to destroy it shall go into the lower parts of the earth. They shall fall by the sword. They shall be portioned for foxes. But the king shall rejoice in God. Everyone that sweareth by him shall glory. But the mouth of them that speak lies shall be stopped. I meditate on thee in the night watches. Because thou hast been my help, therefore in the shadow of thy wings will I rejoice. My soul followeth hard after thee. Thy right hand upholdeth me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O Lord God of my salvation, I have cried day and night before thee. Let my prayer come before thee, and cleanse thine ear unto my cry, for my soul is full of troubles. And my life draweth nigh unto the grave. I am counted with them that go down into the pit. I am as a man that hath no strength, free among the dead. Like the slain that lie in the grave, from thou rememberest no more, and they are cut off from thy hand. Thou hast laid me in the lowest pit, in darkness, in the deeps. Thy wrath lieth hard upon me, thou hast afflicted me with all thy waves. Thou hast put mine acquaintances far from me, thou hast made me an abomination unto them. I am shut up, and I cannot come forth. My eye mourneth by reason of affliction. Lord, I have called daily upon thee, I have stretched out my hands unto thee. Wilt thou shew wonders to the dead, shall the dead arise and praise thee? Shall thy loving kindness be declared in the grave of thy faithfulness and destruction? Shall thy wonders be known in the dark, and thy righteousness in the land of forgetfulness? But unto thee have I cried, O Lord, and in the morning shall my prayer come before thee. Lord, why castest thou off my soul? Why hidest thou thy face from me? I am afflicted and ready to die from my youth up. While I suffer thy terrors, I am distracted. Thy fierce wrath goeth over me, thy terrors have cut me off. They came round about me daily like water, they compassed me about together. Lover and finesse, I'll put far from me and my acquaintances into darkness. O Lord God of my salvation, I have cried day and night before thee. Let my prayer come before thee, incline thine ear into my cry. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgiveth all thine iniquities, who healeth all thy diseases, who redeemeth thy life from destruction, who crowneth thee with loving kindness and tender mercies, who satisfieth thy mouth with good things, that thy youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord executeth righteousness and judgment for all that are oppressed. He made known his ways unto Moses, his acts unto the children of Israel. The Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger and plenteous in mercy. He will not always chide, neither will he keep his anger forever. He hath not dealt with us after our sins, nor awarded us according to our iniquities. For as the heaven is high above the earth, so great is his mercy toward them that fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far hath he removed our transgressions from us. Like as a father pitieth his children, so the Lord pieth them that fear him. For he knoweth our frame, he remembereth that we are dust, as for man his days are as grass, as a flower of the field, so he flourisheth. For the wind passes over it, and it is gone, and the place thereof shall know it no more. But the mercy of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting upon them that fear him. 
and his righteousness unto children's children to such as keep his covenant and those that remember his commandments to do them. The Lord hath prepared his throne in the heavens and his kingdom ruleth over all. Bless the Lord, ye his angels that excel in strength that do his commandments, hearkening unto the voice of his word. Bless ye the Lord, all ye his hosts, ye ministers of his that do his pleasure. Bless the Lord, all his works, and all places of his dominion, bless the Lord, O my soul. In all places of his dominion, bless the Lord, O my soul. Hear my prayer, O Lord, give ear to my supplications, and in thy faithfulness answer me in thy righteousness. Enter not in the judgment with thy servant, for in thy sight shall no man living be justified. For the enemy hath persecuted my soul, he hath smit my life down to the ground, he hath made me to dwell in darkness as those that have been long dead. Therefore is my spirit overwhelmed within me, my heart within me is desolate. I remember the days of old, I meditate on all thy works, I muse on the works of thy hands. I stretch forth my hands unto thee, my soul thirsteth for thee as a thirsty land. Hear me speedily, O Lord, my spirit faileth. Hide not thy face from me, lest I be like unto them that go down into the pit. <coughs> Cause me to thy loving kindness in the morning, for in thee do I trust. Cause me to know the way when I should walk, for lift up my soul unto thee. Deliver me, O Lord, from my enemies, I flee unto thee to hide me. Teach me to do thy will, for thou art my God. Thy spirit is good, lead me to the land of uprightness. Quicken me, O Lord, for thy name's sake, for thy righteousness' sake. Bring my soul out of trouble, and of thy mercy cut off my enemies. And destroy all them that afflict my soul, for I am thy servant. O Lord, give ear to my supplications, and enter not into judgment with thy servant. O Lord, give ear to my supplications, and enter not into judgment with thy servant. Thy spirit is good, lead me to the land of uprightness. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and into ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. O Lord, our hope, glory to thee. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace from above, for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, for the good estate of the holy churches of God, and the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy house and for those with faith, reverence, and the fear of God enter therein. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our Metropolitan Joseph, our Bishop Basil, East for the Academy of Christ, for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our president, civil authorities, and armed forces everywhere, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this city, for every city and countryside, and the faithful who dwell therein, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For healthful seasons, abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For travelers by land, by sea, and by air, the sick, the suffering, for captives and their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our deliverance from all tribulation, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Calling to remembrance our all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever virgin holy Theotokos. Let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. To thee, O Lord. For unto thee are due all glory, honor, and worship to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. God is the Lord and hath appeared unto us. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord and call upon his holy name. Allah All nations 
nations compass me about, but in the name of the Lord will I destroy them. God is the Lord and hath appeared unto us. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. This is the Lord's doing, it is marvelous in our eyes. Allah Rabbu Stone was sealed by the Jews, and the soldiers were guarding thy most pure body. Thou didst arise on the third day, O Savior, granting life to the world, for which cause the heavenly part. to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Great are the achievements of faith in the fountain of flame as by the water of rest the three holy children rejoiced and the prophet Daniel proved a shepherd of lions as of sheep by their prayers, O Christ God, save our souls. Hold now and never and unto ages of ages, Amen. Asraru ki kullu haya walidat al-ila tafuqu kulla aqlin wa tasmu ala kulli majdin لِأَنَّكِ وَأَنْتِ مَخْتُومَةُ الطَّهَارَ وَمَصُونَةُ الْبَتُولِيَّ عُرِّفْتِ أُمًّا بِغَيْرِ رَيْبٍ وَوَلَدْتِ الْإِلَهَ الْحَقِيقِ فَإِلَيْهِ ابْتَهِلِي أن يخلص نفوسنا أيضا وأيضا بسلامين إلى الرب نطلو يا رب ارحم أدر وخلص وقم وفضنا يا الله بنعمتي يا رب ارحم Krina kuiata kadasati, tahira ta fai kata barakati maji, tahi data na wali datalia, ata imata batuia ti mariam, majami aikadisin, 
Vandu ratha vatina vabaduna badan Vakula hayatina lamasi khalila Laka yara Yana laka laisata walaka muka wa kudrata wa majd Ayuhal abu wal ibnu wal ruh yal kudus Elana wakula wanin wa ila dahi dahiri Amin the soldiers who kept watch over thy grave, O Savior, became as dead men from the shining of the appearing angel who told the good tidings of the resurrection to the women. Thee, therefore, do we glorify, O remover of corruption, and to thee do we bow, O thou who didst rise from the grave, O thou our only Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Thou was nailed upon the cross willingly, O merciful one, and thou was placed in a grave like one who is dead, O giver of life, trampling the pride of death, O mighty one. For because of the, thee, the gatekeepers of Hades did tremble, and thou didst raise the dead with thee from eternity. For thou alone art the lover of mankind, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. As Gabriel cried aloud unto thee, Hail, O virgin, with that cry did the Lord of all become incarnate in thee, O holy ark, as spake the righteous David. And thou wast revealed as more spacious than the heavens, and that thou bore thy <coughs> creator. Wherefore, glorify to him who abode in thee, glorify to him who came from thee, glorify Glory to him who through thy birth giving hath set us free. Verily the women did proceed to the grave early where they beheld an angelic scene and did tremble. And when the grave shone forth with life, they were struck with astonishment. Wherefore they returned to the disciples and preached the resurrection, saying, Verily Christ hath invaded Hades, for he alone is the powerful and mighty one. And he raised with him all those who were corrupt, and with the power of his cross he removed the fear of condemnation. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Thou wast verily nailed upon the cross, O life of all, and was numbered among the dead, O deathless Lord. Thou didst rise after three days, O Savior, and didst raise Adam from corruption. Wherefore, the heavenly power shouted to thee, O thou giver of life, glory to thy passion, O Christ, glory to thy resurrection, glory to thy condescension, O thou alone, the lover of mankind. Both now and ever and unto ages of ages, amen. O Mary, the revered boat of the Lord, lift us who have fallen in the abyss of evil despair, trespasses, and sorrows. For thou didst give salvation to sinners, thou art a helper and a strong intercessor, and dost save thy servants. Blessed are the blameless in the way, who walk in the love of the Lord. Blessed are they that search out his testimonies, with their whole heart shall they seek after him. For they that work iniquities have not walked in his way. Thou hast enjoined thy commandments that we should keep them most diligently. Would that my words were directed to keep thy statue. Then shall I not be ashamed when I look on all thy commandments. I will confess thee with the brightness of heart when I have learned the judgments of thy righteousness. I will keep thy statutes, do not utterly forsake me. Wherewith all shall a young man correct his way by keeping thy word. With my whole heart have I sought after thee, cast me not away from thy commandments. In my heart have I hid thy sayings, that I might not sin against thee. Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy statutes. The company of the angels was amazed, when they beheld thee numbered among the dead. Yet thyself, O Savior, destroying the power of death, and with thee raising up Adam, and releasing a man from hell. Nahwa hamilat al-tibi qailan Lima 
رمزوج نطيوبة بالدموع بتراث ثنية الميذات انظرنا اللحدة وفرحنا لأن المخلص قد قام من القبر ناهضا أبلوغ التوسكيري إذي ذاكسون متاديك ومرتاسو Very early in the morning Did the murbering women run lamenting unto thy tomb But an angel came toward them Saying the time for lamentation is past Weep not but announce unto the apostles the resurrection Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy statue. <coughs> the myrrh-bearing women mourned as bearing spices they drew near thy tomb, O Savior. But the angel spake unto them, saying, Why number ye the living among the dead? In that he is God, he is risen from the grave. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. We adore the Father as also his Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Holy Trinity in one essence, crying with the seraphim. Holy, holy, holy art thou, O Lord. O now and ever and unto ages of ages, amen. In that thou didst bear the giver of life, O virgin, thou didst redeem Adam from sin. And it's give to Eve joy in place of sadness. And he who was incarnate of thee, both God and man, hath restored to life those who had fallen therefrom. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 Doxa Sio Teo. Alleluia, 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 Al Majdulaka, Ya Allah, Ya Ilahana, Warajana, Laka Al Ye <laughs> O ti evlogi te su to onoma, ke do doxas te su tu i vasilia, tu patros ke tu iu ke tu agio pneumatos, nim ke ai ke istu se onas tone ono. The repentance of the thief gained him paradise by stealth, and the sighing of the ointment-bearing women proclaimed the glad tidings that thou wast risen, O Christ, and hadst bestowed upon the world thy great mercy. O Lord, to thee in my sorrows do I cry, hear thou my cry of pain. Verily, the divine desire shall be without delay upon the people of the wilderness, for that they have come out of the vain world. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Verily, glory and honor become the Holy Spirit, as they become the Father and the Son. Wherefore do we praise the triune one in might. 
O God, since thou hast raised me to the hills of thy laws, shed brightly thy light of virtue upon me that I may <coughs> praise thee. O word, hold me fast with thy right hand, keep me and preserve me, lest the fire of sin consume me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Verily, all creation together is regenerated by the Holy Spirit and returns to its former being. For he is co-omnipotent with the Father and the Word. My soul did rejoice with those who say, Let us go into the courts of the Lord. My heart was exceedingly glad. Great fear shall be in the house of David, where the seed shall be set, and all tribes and tongues of the earth shall be judged. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Verily, it is meet to offer glory, might, and power to the Holy Spirit, as to the Father and the Son. For the Trinity is one in substance, not in person. Now will I arise, saith the Lord. I will set myself for salvation. I will make no tarry. Pray to the Lord. Lord of mercy. For holy art thou, our God, who restest in the holy place, and unto thee do we ascribe glory, <coughs> to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. Praise ye God and his saints, praise him in the firm foundation of his power. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. And that we may be accounted worthy to hear the Holy Gospel. Let us beseech the Lord our God. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Wisdom, stand upright, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be unto all. And to thy spirit. The reading of the Holy Gospel is according to St. Luke. Glory to the Lord, glory to the let us attend. At that time, on the first day of the week at early dawn, the women went to the tomb, taking the spices which they had prepared and certain others with them. And they found the stone rolled away from the tomb. But when they, when they went in, they did not find the body of the Lord Jesus. While they were perplexed about this, behold, Two men stood by them in dazzling apparel, and as they were frightened and bowed their faces to the ground, the men said to them, Why do you seek the living among the dead? He is not here, but is risen. Remember how he told you while he was still in Galilee that the Son of Man must be delivered into the hands of sinful men and be crucified, and on the third day rise again. And they remembered his words. And returning from the tomb, they told all this to the eleven and to all the rest. Now it was Mary Magdalene and Joanna and Mary the mother of James and the other women with them who told this to the apostles. But these words seemed to them an idle tale and they did not believe them. But Peter rose and ran to the tomb, stooping and looking in, he saw the linen cloths by themselves, and he departed wondering at what 
had happened. Glory to thee, O Lord, glory to thee. Having beheld the resurrection of Christ, let us worship the Holy Lord Jesus, the only sinless one. Thy cross do we adore, O Christ, and thy holy resurrection we praise and glorify. For thou art our God, we know none other beside thee, we call upon thy name. O come, all ye faithful, let us adore Christ's holy resurrection. For lo, through the cross is joy come into all the world. Ever blessing the Lord, let us sing his resurrection, for in that he endured the cross for us, he has destroyed death by death. Have mercy upon me, O God, according to thy great mercy, according to the multitude of thy tender mercies, blot out mine iniquity. Wash me thoroughly from mine iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. For I acknowledge mine iniquity and my sin is ever before me. Against thee only have I sinned and done this evil in thy sight, that thou mightest be justified in thy words and prevail when thou art judged. For behold, I was shapen in iniquity, and in sin did my mother conceive me. For behold, thou hast loved truth, the unclear and hidden things of thy wisdom thou hast made clear to me. Thou shalt sprinkle me with this up, and I shall be clean. Thou shalt wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Thou shalt make me to hear joy and gladness. The bones which thou hast broken shall rejoice. Turn away thy face from my sins and blot out all mine iniquity. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation, and steady me with a guiding spirit. Then will I teach transgressors <laughs> thy ways, and the ungodly shall be converted unto thee. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, thou God of my salvation, and my tongue shall sing aloud of thy righteousness. O Lord, open thou my lips, and my mouth shall declare thy praise. For hadst thou desired sacrifice, I would have given it thee. Thou delightest not in burnt offerings. Sacrifices to God are a contrite spirit. A contrite and humble heart, O God, thou will not despise. Do good, O Lord, in thy good will unto Zion, that the walls of Jerusalem may be built up. And shall thou be pleased with the sacrifice of righteousness, with burnt offering and whole burnt offering. Then shall they offer bullocks upon thine altar. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, through the intercessions of the apostles, O Thou, who art merciful. Blot out all the multitudes of our transgressions, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Through the intercessions of the Theotokos, O Thou who art merciful, blot out all the multitude of our transgressions. <laughs> 
وبحسب كثرة رأفاتي كامحو ما آثمي لقد قام يسوع من القبر كما سبق فقال ومنحنا حياة أبدية والرحمة العظمى God, save thy people and bless thine inheritance. Visit thy world with mercy and compassion. Exalt the horn of Orthodox Christians and send down upon us thy rich mercies. Through the intercessions of, all, of our all immaculate Lady the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, by the might of the precious and life giving cross, by the protection of the honorable bodiless powers of heaven at the supplication of the honorable glorious prophet, forerunner and Baptist John, of the holy glorious all audible apostles, of our fathers among the saints, great hierarchs and ecumenical teachers, Basil the Great, Gregory the Theologian, and John Chrysostom, Athanasius, Cyril and John the Merciful, Patriarchs of Alexandria, Nicholas of Maranachia, Spiridon of Termethos, and Nectarios of Pentopolis, the wonder workers of our Father among the saints, Raphael, Bishop of Brooklyn, of the Holy Glorious, great martyrs, George the Trophy Bearer, protector of this holy cathedral, Demetrios, the Merch, Streaming, Theodore the Soldier, Theodore the General, Minas, the wonder worker, of the higher martyrs, Ignatius, the God Bearer of Antioch, Arlopos, and Eleutherios, of the Holy Glories and great women martyrs, Thecla, Barbara, Anastasia, Catherine, Kiriaki, Fotini, Marina, Paraskevia, and Irene. Of the Holy Glories and right victorious martyrs, of our venerable God bearing fathers who have shown in the ascetic life, of the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and all the holy ancestors of Christ, whose memory we celebrate this day, and of all thy saints. We beseech the only most merciful Lord, hearken unto the petitions of us sinners who make our supplication unto thee, and have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy. compassion and love for mankind of thine only begotten Son, with whom thou art blessed, together with thine holy, good, and life-giving Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. A hand-wrought image you would not worship, O thrice blessed ones, but armed by the undepictable essence, you were glorified in your ordeal by fire, standing in the midst of the irresistible flame, he called upon God, Speed thou, O compassionate one, and hasten, since thou art merciful, to come unto our aid, for thou art able, if it be thy will. If it be thy will. Stretch forth thy hand, which in ancient times both the Egyptians experienced when they waged war, and the Hebrews when warred against. Do not abandon us, lest Satan, who hateth us, and death, which thirsteth for us, swallow us up. But draw nigh unto us and spare our souls, as once thou didst spare thy children in Babylon, who unceasingly praise thee, and for thy sake were cast into the furnace and cried out therefrom unto thee. Speed thou, O compassionate one, and hasten, since thou art merciful, to come unto our aid, for thou art able, if it be thy will. If it be thy will. On this day, the Sunday before the Nativity of Christ, we have been enjoined by our holy and God-bearing fathers to make commemoration of all them that from the beginning of time have been well-pleasing unto God from Adam even unto Joseph, the betrothed of the most holy Theotokos, according to genealogy, as Luke the Evangelist hath recounted historically, and likewise for the prophets and prophetesses, especially of Daniel the prophet and the three holy youths. By their holy intercessions, O God, have mercy upon us and save us. Amen. Christ is born, glorify him. Christ hath come from the heavens, receive. On the earth be elevated, sing unto the Lord all. 
the earth, and ye people praise him with joy, for he hath been glorified. Let us cry unto the Son, born of the Father, before the ages without change. O Christ, God, who was incarnate in these last days of the Virgin, without seed shouting, O Thou who hast elevated our state, Thou art holy, O Lord. O praise Christ, a stem hath come out of Jesse, and from it has sprouted a flood from man and sun shadowed mountain. O immaterial God, coming incarnate of the Virgin, that hath not known man, glory therefore to thy might, O Lord. Ayyuha al-muhib al-bashar, bima annaka ilahu al-salami wa abu al-marahim, faqad arsalta lana rasul ra'yika al-azim, manihan iya. من الليل ممجدين لك أسيم أنصر It discord Jonah from its belly As it received him Safely like a fetus As for the word when he dwelt in the virgin, taking from her a body, he was born, preserving her without corruption and without change, preserving his mother without harm. The youths having grown together <coughs> in true worship, despising the command of the infidel, were not dismayed by the threat of fire, but were singing as they stood in the midst of the flames, Blessed art thou, the God of our Father. Let us praise, bless, and worship the Lord. Verily the dewy furnace did shadow the sign of the supernatural wonder. For it burned not the use whom it received As the fire of divinity also Burned not the womb of the virgin In which it dwelt Wherefore let us offer praise with song saying let all creation praise the Lord, exalting Him evermore to the end of ages. <coughs> Lord, 
My soul doth magnify the Lord, and my spirit hath rejoiced in God my Savior. More unroubled than the cherubim, and more glorious be uncompared than the seraphim. Thou who without stain bearest God the word, and are truly Theotokos, we magnify thee. For he hath regard to the lowliness of his handmaiden, for behold, from henceforth, all generations shall call me blessed. More honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious be uncompared than the seraphim. The who with the stain merits God the word, and our truly theotokos, Magnify thee. For he that is mighty hath magnified me, and holy is his name, and his mercy is on them that fear him throughout all generations. Yemen he akramumina sherubi miwar faumaj dan bi ghayrikiyasin mina serafim. التي بغير فساد ولدت كلمة الله وهي حقا والدة الإله إياك نعظم He has showed strength with his arm He has scattered the proud in the imagination of their hearts. More honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious be uncompared than the seraphim. Thou who without stain bearest God the word, and art truly Theotokos, we magnify thee. He hath put down the mighty from their seat, and hath exalted the humble and meek. He hath filled the empty with good things, and the rich he has sent empty away. Yemen he akramu mina sherubimi wa arfau majdan bi ghayr qiyasin mina serafim. التي بغير فساد ولدت كلمة الله وهي حقا والدة الإله إياك نعظم. He remembering his mercy hath helped his servant Israel as he promised to our forefathers Abraham and his seed forever. More honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious be uncompared than the seraphim. Thou who without stain bearest God the word, and are truly Theotokos. Magnify thee. Magnify, O oh my soul, her who is more honorable and more exalted in glory than the heavenly host. I behold a strange and wonderful mystery. The king. cherubic throne and the manger a noble place in which hath lain Christ the uncontained God let us therefore praise and magnify him 
mercy. Lord have mercy. of heaven praise thee and unto thee do they ascribe glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit now and ever and unto the ages of ages Amen Holy is the Lord our God Agios Kyrios O Theosimos at his footstool for he is holy let us gleam shining with virtues and behold the man standing in brilliant clothes inside the grave giving life to the ointment bearing women with their faces downcast, let us learn of the resurrection of the Lord of heaven and hasten with Peter to the tomb and wander at the great happening, waiting to be. Fathers, ere the law shone bright as stars beforehand, those foremost of the patriarchs, great Abraham and Isaac and illustrious Jacob, for from them all the prophets and all the just were set afire, like lamps blazing with splendor, and by the rays of their hallowed prophecies, they enlightened the whole creation, which had been shrouded with heavy darkness. When thou, O Lord, didst say rejoice, thou didst transform the sorrow of our forefathers in its stead, bringing the world the gladness of thine arising in glory. Wherefore, through her that bear thee, send forth to us the light thereof, the bright light of thy mercies, lighting our hearts, so that we, O life-giving Lord, might cry out, O friend of man, both God and man, Glory to thine arising. Pass up no ye enesatoton ki. Dies 
insistis si prepim nos to sanctuary praise him in the firmament of his power O thou who didst endure the cross and abolish death and its rise again from the dead give peace to our life O Lord for thou only art almighty. Praise him for his mighty acts. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. O thou who didst despoil hell and raise man again from the dead by thy resurrection. O Christ, make us worthy with pure hearts to praise and glorify Thee. Praise Him with the sound of the trumpet, praise Him with the psaltery and harp, glorifying Thy divine condescension, we praise Thee, O Christ, for Thou wast born of a virgin. Ye was not separated from the Father. Thou didst suffer as a man, and of Thine own free will endure the cross. And thou didst rise again from the tomb going forth as from a bridal chamber that thou mightest save the world. O Lord, glory to thee. Praise Him with the timbrel and dance, praise Him with the stringed instruments and organs. Zion, thou sacred city of God, lift up thy voice, proclaim to all the divinely blessed memorial of the fathers while singing Abraham's praise. And with Isaac honor, Jacob great of fame. For lo, now we magnify Judah, Levi, the patriarchs, and the great Moses, wondrous Aaron, and we acclaim David, Samuel, and with them Jesus of Navi. As we strike up divine prefestal praises of Christ, with him composed by divine grace, we also ask that we all may find 
the bountiful goodness of the Savior who bestoweth great mercy on the world. Praise him upon loud symbols, praise him upon high sounding symbols. Let everything that had breath praise the Lord. Zion, thou sacred city of God, lift up thy voice, proclaim to all the divinely blessed. Memorial of the fathers while singing Abraham's praise and with Isaac honor Jacob great of fame. For lo, now we magnify Judah, Levi, the patriarchs, and the great Moses, wondrous Aaron, and we acclaim David, Samuel, and with them Jesus of Nevi, as we strike up divine pre-festal praises of Christ, with hymns composed by divine grace, we also ask that we all may find the bountiful goodness of the Savior who bestoweth great mercy on the world. Blessed art thou, O Lord, the God of our fathers, and praised and glorified is thy name forever. Come, O Elias, thou who of old drovest on high in a divine fiery chariot, Divinely wise Eliseus and Hezekiah the king, with Josiah do ye all exalt for joy. O hallowed and God inspired, twelvefold band of the prophets' choir, dance ye together on the Savior's nativity. Sing aloud with songs, all ye righteous, and form a choir. O ye all blessed children, who were granted the Spirit's due to quench the flame of the furnace, make intercession in our behalf and boldly entreat Christ that he graciously bestow his great mercy on our souls. Righteous art thou in all which thou hast done for us. Lo, now she hath appeared on the earth, who from all ages had been preaching the prophet's word. The pure virgin, whom the revered and most wise patriarchs and righteous companies proclaim, with them woman's majesty also danceth for joy today. Sarah, Rebecca, Rachel, Hannah, all form a choir with wise Miriam, Moses' sister, most glorious. And with the righteous women, all the ends of the world rejoice. And all creation together doth render homage because our God is come to be born now in the flesh and to bestow his great mercy on the world. Glory to the Father.
the collection of the lost teachings make it plain Christ divine nativity For through them thou wast incarnate of the is Hades despoiled. Adam is recalled from the dead. The curse is made void. Eve is set free. Death is slain and we are endowed with life. Wherefore in hymns of praise we cry aloud. Blessed art thou, O Christ our God, who is thus well pleased. Glory to Thee. Glory to Thee, who hath shone <laughs> forth the light. Glory to God on high and on earth. Peace, goodwill among men. We praise Thee, we bless Thee, we worship Thee. We glorify Thee. We give thanks unto Thee for Thy great glory. Kyrie vasilefe puraniethe, pater pandokrato, Kyrie iemonoienes, Isu Christe ke agion pnevma. O Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, that taketh away the sin of the world, have mercy on us, thou that takest away the sin of the world. Receive our prayer, thou that sittest at the right hand of the Father, and have mercy on us. For thou only art holy, thou only art the Lord, O Jesus Christ. Uh, to the glory of God the Father, Amen. Blessed art thou, O Lord, 
the God of our fathers, and praise and glorified be thy name forever. Amen. Let thy mercy, O Lord, be upon us as we do put our hope in thee. Mubarak unante ya Rabbi alimni hukuka Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy statue Et lohito sikirie didak son meta vike o matasu Lord, thou hast been our refuge in all generations I said, be merciful unto me, heal my soul, for I have sinned against thee. Lord, I have fled unto thee, teach me to do thy will, for thou art my God. For with thee is the fountain of life, and in thy light shall we see love. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Holy Immortal, have mercy on from above and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. For the peace of the whole world, the good estate of the holy churches of God, and the union of all men, let us pray to the Lord. For this holy house and those who with faith, reverence, and the fear of God into therein, let us pray to the Lord. 
For our Metropolitan Joseph, our Bishop Basil, the Honorable Presbytery, the Diaconate in Christ, all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for our president, the civil authorities, and armed forces, let us pray to the Lord. For this city and every city and countryside and the faithful who dwell therein, let us pray to the Lord. For healthful seasons, abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. For travelers by sea, by land, and by air, the sick, the suffering, the captives, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. For our deliverance from all tribulation, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy upon <coughs> us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, mercy. Calling to remembrance our all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves in each other and all our life unto Christ our God. To thee are due all glory, honor, and worship to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. It is a good thing to give praise unto the Lord and to sing unto thy name, O Most High. To proclaim thy mercy in the morning and thy truth at night. Through the intercessions of the Theotokos, O Savior, save us. For our God is just, and in him there is no oppression. Through the intercessions of the Theotokos, O Savior, save us. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Calling to remembrance our all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints. Let us commend ourselves in each other and all our life unto Christ our God. To thee, Lord. Thine is the might, and thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. The Lord hath reigned, he is clothed with beauty, the Lord is clothed with strength, and hath girded himself. For he hath established the world which shall not be moved. Holiness becometh thy house, O Lord, unto length of days. O Son of God, who art risen from the dead, save us who seek unto thee.
again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Calling to remembrance our all holy, immaculate, most blessed, and glorious Lady the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints. Let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. For thou art a good God and lovest mankind, and unto thee do we ascribe glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Savior, 
granting life to the world, for which cause the heavenly powers cried aloud unto thee, O giver of life, glory to thy resurrection, O Christ, Glory to thy kingdom, glory to thy providence. O thou who alone art the lover of mankind. Great are the achievements of faith in the fountain of flame as by the water of rest the three holy children rejoiced and the prophet daniel proved a shepherd of lions as of sheep by their prayers o christ god save our souls Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages.
the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Blessed are you, O Lord, the God of our fathers, for you are just in all you have done. Wisdom. The reading is from St. Paul's letter to the Hebrews. Let us attend. Brethren, by faith Abraham sojourned in the land of promise as in a foreign land living in tents with Isaac and Jacob, heirs with him of the same promise. For he looked forward to the city which has foundations, whose builder and maker is God. And what more shall I say? For time would fail me to tell of Gideon, Barak, Samson, Jephthah, of David and Samuel and the prophets, who through faith conquered kingdoms, enforced justice, received promises, stopped the mouths of lions, quenched raging fire, escaped the edge of the sword, won strength out of weakness, became mighty in war, and put foreign armies to flight. Women received their dead by resurrection. Some were tortured, refusing to accept release, that they might rise again to a better life. Others suffered mocking and scourging, and even chains and imprisonment. They were stoned, they were sawn in two, they were tempted, they were killed with the sword. They went about in skins of sheep and goats, destitute, afflicted, ill-treated, of whom the world was not worthy, wanderings, wandering over deserts and mountains and in dens and the caves of the earth. And all these, though well attested by their faith, did not receive what was promised, since God had foreseen something better for us, that apart from us, they should not be made perfect. God, we have heard with our ears. The righteous cried, and the Lord heard them.
Wisdom attend, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be unto all. And to thy spirit. Reading is from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to the Let us attend. <clears throat> the book of the genealogy of Jesus Christ, the son of David, the son of Abraham. Abraham was the father of Isaac, and Isaac the father of Jacob, and Jacob the father of Judah and his brothers, and Judah the father of Perez, and Zerah by Tamar and Perez the father of Hezron, and Hezron the father of Aram, and Aram the father of Aminadab, and Aminadab the father of Nashon, and Nashon the father of Salmon, and and Salmon the father of Boaz by Rahab, and Boaz the father of Obed by Ruth, and Obed the father of Jesse, and Jesse the father of David the king. And David was the father of Solomon by the wife of Uriah, and Solomon the father of Rehoboam, and Rehoboam the father of Abijah, and Abijah the father of Asa, and Asa the father of Jehoshaphat, Jehoshaphat the father of Joram, and Joram the father of Uzziah, and Uzziah the father of Jotham, and Jotham the father of Ahaz, and Ahaz the father of Hezekiah, and Hezekiah the father of Manasseh, and Manasseh the father of Amon, and Amon the father of Josiah, and Josiah the father of Jeconiah, and his brothers at the the time of the deportation to Babylon. And after the deportation to Babylon, Jeconiah was the father of Shethiel, and Sheathiel the father of Zerubbabel, and Zerubbabel the father of Abiud, and Abiud the father of Eliakim, and Eliakim the father of Azor, and Azor the father of Zadok, and Zadok the father of Achim, and Achim the father of Eliud, and Eliud the father of Eleazar, and Eleazar the father of Mathan, and Mathan the father of Jacob, and Jacob the father of Joseph, the husband of Mary, of whom Jesus was born, who is called the Christ. So all generations from Abraham to David were fourteen generations, and from David to the deportation to Babylon, fourteen generations, and from the deportation to Babylon to the Christ, fourteen generations. Now the birth of Jesus Christ took place in this way. When Mary, his mother, had been betrothed to Joseph, before they came together, she was found to be with child of the Holy Spirit. And her husband Joseph, being a just man and unwilling to put her to shame, resolved to divorce her quietly, But as he considered this, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream, saying, Joseph, son of David, do not fear to take Mary as your wife, for that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Spirit. She will bear a son, and you shall call his name Jesus for he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what the Lord had spoken by the prophet. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and his name shall be called Emmanuel, which means God with us. When Joseph woke from sleep, he did as the angel of the Lord commanded him, He took his wife, but he knew her not until she had borne a son, and he called his name Jesus.
the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Glory to Jesus Christ. These days, with the advent of 23andMe and Ancestry.com, there's quite a bit of interest among the public in discovering one's lineage, one's ancestry, one's heritage. I think there are a couple of reasons for this. One, it's simply interesting in itself to learn something about one's unknown ancestors. Secondly, many feel that exploring their ancestry will give them a better idea of who they are themselves. With that second factor in mind, we can ask, what do the ancestors of Jesus tell us about him? There's much that can be said, and indeed I have said much about it over the years. I could talk about Jesus' heritage as a heritage of faith, for instance. There are many, many examples that could be brought to bear from the names that we heard this morning. But today I'm going to take a different approach. I'm going to submit to you that understanding Christ's human ancestry reveals him as the forgiveness of our sins. To understand that, we have to look at some of the special mentions in this gospel reading, this genealogy today. A section contains these names. Judah begot Perez and Zerah by Tamar. Salmon begot Boaz by Rahab. Boaz begot Obed by Ruth. Obed begot Jesse, and Jesse begot David the king. And David begot Samuel by her who had been the wife of Uriah. Solomon begot Rehoboam, of whom it was said, and he did evil because his heart did not prepare to seek the Lord. In some respects, the genealogy of Jesus is, a, is less a saintly hall of fame than it is a rogues gallery or uh, a hall of shame. You may have noticed that four women were named in this section. Tamar, who was guilty of incest. Rahab, who was a notorious prostitute. Bathsheba, the wife of Uriah, committed adultery with David. Ruth alone was virtuous. All four were Gentiles. Each of these women were cunning and clever. And how are there Gentiles considered unclean in the eyes of the Jews? In the genealogy of Jesus, the Messiah of Israel. And on the male side, consider the example of David, the greatest king of Israel and the ancestor of Christ. David was an adulterer and a murderer. We read, one evening, David arose from his bed and walked on the roof of his house. From there, he saw a very beautiful woman bathing. So David inquired about the woman, and someone said, Is this not Bathsheba, the wife of Uriah the Hittite? Then David sent messengers and took her and lay with her. And the woman conceived, and so she sent and told David, I am with child. So David wrote a letter to Joab, his commander, saying, Set Uriah at the forefront of the hottest battle and retreat from him that he may be struck down and die. So it was, when the men of the city came out and fought, Uriah the Hittite died. But the thing that David did displeased the Lord. I'm sure you know the rest of the story. God sends Nathan the prophet, and in a dramatic confrontation, Nathan points out to David the error of his ways. And David says, as he realizes, I have sinned against the Lord. But because of his repentance, his heartfelt repentance, David is forgiven by God. What is the lesson that David teaches us? 
even the most heinous sins, adultery and murder, can be forgiven by God if a person truly repents. And what is the word from him who was to be born in Bethlehem? Assuredly, I say to you, all sins will be forgiven, the sons of men. On the day of judgment, no one will be condemned on account of his sins. No one will go to hell because of his transgressions. Not a single soul will be lost because of sin. What do I mean, you say? Allow me to share some scriptures from the first epistle of John. If anyone sins, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ, the righteous. And he himself is the propitiation, that is the sacrificial offering, for our sins, and not for ours only, but this also for the sins of the whole world. Christ paid the price once and for all for the forgiveness of sins for every human being that has ever and will ever walk on the face of the earth. From 1 Corinthians, do not be deceived. Neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor sodomizers, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor, nor revilers, nor extortioners will inherit the kingdom of God. And such were some of you. But you were washed, you were sanctified, you were justified in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ and by the Spirit of our God. The Corinthians had plenty of sins of all varieties. But they were washed, they were forgiven in the name of Christ. In the name of Christ, they were justified. From the Gospel of Luke, then all the tax collectors and the sinners drew near to him to hear him. And the Pharisees and scribes complained, saying, this man eats with sinners and receives them. Jesus re rejected nobody because of his sins. He had table fellowship with sinners, scandalous to the Pharisees and the scribes. Now, back in the 60s and the 70s, liberal Catholic and Protestant theologian would argue, well, Jesus liked to hang out with sinners because they were more real. They were more real. But that's not the point. In another place, Luke gives us a fuller account. Then Levi gave him, Christ, a great feast in his own house. And there were a great number of tax collectors and others who sat down with them. And the scribes and Pharisees complained against his disciples, saying, Why do you eat and drink with tax collectors and sinners? Jesus answered and said to them, Those who are well have no need of a physician, but those who are sick. I have not come to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance." He wasn't there just to hang out with them. He was there for a purpose, to call them to repentance, to change their ways, to embrace the ways of God. The only thing that will cause a soul to perish is the refusal to repent. The only thing that will cause a person to die in his sins is to refuse Christ. The only thing that will condemn a soul to hell is to refuse God's offer of forgiveness. Some time ago I quoted to you from the book of Revelation. After describing horrific plagues poured out on the face of the earth, here is what we read. But the rest of mankind who were not killed by these plagues did not repent of the works of their hands, that they should not worship demons or idols of gold, silver, brass, stone, and wood. And they did not repent of their murders, of their sorceries, or their sexual immorality, or their thefts. Why were these to be condemned? Not because of their sins, but because of their refusal to repent. My brothers and sisters in Christ, yes, there were sinners in the lineage of Christ, yet we account them saints. 
Because like David, they repented. They turned from the evil to the good. They served God's people and directed their lives in the way of God. Let us be like them. Repent and embrace him who is the forgiveness of God himself, incarnate, Christ, that at the completion of this life, we may be welcomed into paradise in the company of David, Bathsheba, Rahab, Tamar, and so many others in that lineage, and the whole company of sinners made saints. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Wisdom. That guarded always by thy might, we may ascribe glory unto thee. To the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. For to serve these in great and fearful thing, even to the heavenly powers, and nevertheless, and unspeakable and boundless love for mankind. Receive the King of all who comes invisibly as courted by Angelicos. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia.
Forgive, O oh God, those who hate us and those who love us. Lift up, Master. Lift up your hands to the holy places and bless you. God is God. Priesthood, may Lord God remember us having a All of you and all Orthodox Christians, the Lord God remember in his heavenly kingdom, always, now, and ever and unto ages of ages. Our most reverend Metropolitan Joseph, his grace our Bishop Basil, and all our brotherhood in Christ, the Lord God remember them in his heavenly kingdom, always, now, and ever and unto ages of ages. The President of the United States, all civil authorities and the armed forces everywhere, may the Lord God remember in his heavenly kingdom, always, now, and ever, and unto the ages of ages. The Orthodox servants of God, that they might have mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, and visitation, and the pardon and forgiveness of their sins. The Metropolitan Paul and the Archbishop Johanna, the priest Joseph the Churia Aaron, Roma, Thomas, Ziada, Abiel, Johanna, Cindy, Heather, Cody, Avery, Quinn, Kenny, Susan, Athena, Urania, and all the Stephanopoulos, Chichura, and Protos families. The Lord God remember them in his heavenly kingdom, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. The Orthodox servants departed this life in hope of the resurrection and life eternal, especially Letanugas, Mahati, Derbimlak, Triva, Kami, Linda, Kamal, Kamal Jr., Violet, Willie, Bob, the families of Stephanopoulos, Tachura, and Protos, David, Rick, Alice, William, George, and the Archpriest Nicholas. May the Lord God remember in his heavenly kingdom, always, now, and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Complete our prayer unto the Lord. For 
for the precious gifts now set forth, let us pray to the Lord. For this holy house and those who with faith reverence in the fear of God into therein, let us pray to the Lord. For our deliverance from all tribulation, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. That the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us ask of the Lord. An angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask of the Lord. Pardon and forgiveness of our sins and transgressions, let us ask of the Lord. All things good and profitable for our souls and peace for the world, let us ask of the Lord. That we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance, let us ask of the Lord. A Christian ending to our life, painless, blameless, peaceful, and a good defense before their fearful judgment seat of Christ, let us ask. Calling to remembrance our all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. Through the compassions of thine only begotten Son, with whom thou art blessed, together with thine all holy, good, and life giving Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Peace be unto all. Let us love one another that with one accord we may confess. the doors in wisdom let us attend. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of the Let us stand aright, let us stand with fear, let us attend, that we may offer holy oblation in peace. Communion of the Holy Spirit 
be with all of you. Let us lift up our hearts. Let us give thanks unto the Lord. Singing the triumphal hymn, shouting, proclaiming, and saying, is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. All those things which have come to pass for us, the cross, the grave, the resurrection, and the third day of the ascension, and the sitting at the right hand of the second of the rest. Thine own of thine own we offer unto thee in behalf of all and for all. We praise thee, we bless thee, we give thanks unto thee, O Lord, and we pray unto thee, O our God. And again we offer unto thee this rational and bloodless worship and beseech thee and pray thee and supplicate thee Send down thy Holy Spirit upon us, and upon these gifts here spread forth, and make this bread the precious body of thy Christ, and that which is in this cup the precious blood of thy Christ, changing them by thy Holy Spirit. Amen, amen, amen. That to those who shall partake thereof they may be in vigilance of soul, under the remission of sins, and the communion
apostles, preachers, evangelists, martyrs, confessors, etc. Especially are all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary. Be mindful, O Lord, of our Metropolitan Joseph and our Bishop Basil, whom do Thou grant unto Thy holy churches in peace, safety, honor, health, and length of days, and rightly dividing the word of Thy truth. And of those who offer these precious gifts to the Lord our God, the Honorable Presbytery, the Diaconate in Christ, and every priestly order and of their salvation, of the peace and stability of the whole world, the good estate of the holy churches of God, the salvation and help of the people here present, those whom they are remembering, and of all mankind. And of all mankind. And grant us with one mouth and one heart to glorify and praise an all honorable and majestic name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. And the mercies of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, be with all of you. Having commemorated all the saints again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. For the precious gifts which have been spread forth and sanctified, let us pray to the Lord. That our God, who loveth mankind, receiving them upon his holy, most heavenly, and ideal altar, as a savor of spiritual sweetness, will send down upon us in return his divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Asking for the unity, the faith, and the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. And 
vouchsafe, O Master, that with boldness and without condemnation we may dare to call upon Thee, the heavenly God, as Father, and to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be Thy name. Thy kingdom come, Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And we lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For Thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Peace be unto all. Bow your heads unto the Lord. the grace and compassions and love toward mankind of thine only begotten Son, with whom thou art blessed, together with thine all-holy good and life-giving Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Let us attend. The holy things are for the holy. Stupid is the Lamb of God, is divided and not disunited, who is every eating and every celebrants. Forgive me, my brothers and sisters, in the name of Christ. Lo, I draw near unto Christ, my mortal King and my God.
him, O sun and moon, praise him, O ye stars and light. With the fear of God, with faith and with love, draw near. Blessed is she that cometh in the name of the Lord. The Lord is God and hath revealed himself unto us.
أنت الكاهن إلى الدهر على ترتيب ملشي صادك هللويا The Lord hath sworn and will not repent Thou art a priest forever after the order of Melchizedek Hallelujah Be thou exalted, O God, above the heavens, and thy glory above the earth. Blessed is our God. Always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. And upright, having partaken of the divine, holy, immaculate, immortal, heavenly, life-giving, dread mysteries of Christ, let us worthily give thanks unto the Lord. Lord, mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Asking that the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us command ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. For thou art our sanctification, and unto thee do we ascribe glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Let us depart in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord o Lord, who blesses those who bless thee and sanctifies those who put their trust in thee, save thy people and bless thine inheritance. Preserve the fullness of thy church. Sanctify those who love the beauty of thy house. Glorify them and recompense by thy divine power and forsake us not who put our hope in thee. Give peace to thy world, to thy churches, to the priests, to the civil authorities, to the armed forces, and to all thy people. For all good giving and every perfect gift is from above, and cometh down from thee the Father of lights. And unto thee do we ascribe glory, thanksgiving, and worship to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Blessed be the name of the Lord that's worth and forevermore. Blessed be the name of the Lord that's worth and forevermore. Please take note, my brothers and sisters in Christ, of all the schedule for our nativity services, beginning with Nativity Compline on Thursday night and going through the feast and the weekend. And
Come, be with us, and celebrate the glorious nativity of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. The blessings of the Lord and his mercy come upon you through his divine grace and love toward mankind, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Glory to thee, O Christ, our God and our hope. Glory to thee. Glory to the Father, May he who rose again from the dead, Christ our true God, through the intercessions of his all immaculate, all blameless Holy Mother, by the might of the precious and life giving cross, by the protection the honorable body, those powers of heaven, and the supplication of the honorable glorious prophet, Lord, and Baptist John, and the glorious and the apostles, and the glorious right victorious martyrs, and our venerable and God-bearing fathers, of the great martyr George, the trophy bearer, patron of our community, the holy and righteous divine ancestors, Joey came in and of all the ancestors of Christ, whose memory we celebrate, have mercy upon us and save us for as much as he is good and loveth mankind. <coughs> Many years, many years, O oh Master, O oh Master. With the prayers of our Holy Master, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy upon us and save us. me 
with yourselves, for God is with